Grab your project bag and let's finish off the body for your puppy dog. I hope you're excited for this tutorial. We're going to crochet the color changes on the chest and work in the arms. Tools and materials are in the description and here are all the stitches and techniques I'll be using. Now let's get crocheting. In the previous tutorial, we ended at round 17. So in this video, we're starting at round 18. Let's make a single crochet in the next three stitches. Now we have a repeat sequence that includes a single crochet in the next three stitches and then a decrease. My hook was splitting the yarn in that decrease. Make sure your hook doesn't split your yarn while you're crocheting. You'll repeat those single crochets and the decrease five more times. After that last decrease, you should have five stitches remaining and you need to put a single crochet in each one. That'll give you a total of 32 stitches for this round. The next round should be easy. Single crochet in all 32 stitches. I think you can complete this round without me, so I'm gonna jump ahead to the next one. Okay, this is round 20 and we'll start with a decrease over the next two stitches. then single crochet in the next 28 stitches, which should take you all the way around the body with two stitches remaining. You're gonna decrease in those last two stitches, and I'm not really too sure that you need to see that decrease. Let me know in the comments. Let's just get to round 21 because we got some color changes to crochet. All right, make sure you have that yarn for the chest patch nearby because we're gonna need it. Round 21 starts with a single crochet in the first 14 stitches. I'm gonna speed up just a little bit. finish that 14th stitch, change over to the patch color yarn. Now single crochet in the next two stitches with this new color. Then switch back over to the main body color yarn. Don't worry about cutting off that patch color yarn. We're just gonna pick that up in the next round. You'll finish this round with a single crochet in each remaining stitch. Let's continue round 21 by putting a single crochet in the next 13 stitches and change over to that patch color yarn before you finish off that 13th stitch. I think I'll jump ahead to that color change. Then single crochet in the next four stitches using that patch color yarn. Switching back over to the main body color yarn before finishing off that fourth stitch. round by making a single crochet in each remaining stitch. You should have a total of 30 stitches when you're done. Now let's go ahead and take a break and stuff this body a little bit. We've got a big belly to fill. I don't want to stuff it all the way because I don't want my hook to grab any of that filling as I continue to crochet the rest of the rounds. I'm trying to add the stuffing by pushing it down and to the sides. I remember reading something about fluffing your polyfill before putting it into your work, so that's what I do. I'm not really sure if it does anything, but I just do it. I think that's enough for now, so let's get back to crocheting. Ready to work in those arms? Start round 23 with a single crochet in the first seven stitches. your hook into the marked stitch on the first arm and the next stitch on the body. Then single crochet through both pieces. You will single crochet through the next stitch on the arm and the body three more times. I like to crochet around the yarn tail from the arm. I think it just makes everything a bit more secure. Then 
and single crochet in the next two stitches of the body only and switch over to the patch color yarn before completing that second stitch. You'll make a single crochet in the next four stitches using that patch color yarn and then you'll switch back to the main body color. crochet in the next four stitches and then get ready to work in that second arm. Insert your hook into the marked stitch on the second arm and the next stitch on the body. Then single crochet those together. Do that three more times and be sure to crochet around that yarn tail. have five stitches remaining in that round and you'll put a single crochet in each one. Let's start round 24 with a single crochet in the next seven stitches. Insert your hook into the next stitch on the body, yarn over and pull through the stitch. Then insert your hook into the next unworked stitch on the arm, yarn over and pull through that stitch. Finish this single crochet by yarning over and pulling through all the loops on your hook. Then single crochet into the next three unworked stitches on the arm. Insert your hook into the previously worked stitch on the arm, yarn over, and pull through the stitch. Then insert your hook into the next available stitch on the body, yarn over, and pull through that stitch. You'll finish this single crochet by yarning over and pulling through all the loops on your hook. Make a single crochet in the next two stitches on the body, and then switch over to the patch color yarn before finishing that second stitch. single crochet using the patch color yarn into the next four stitches. Switch back over to the main body color yarn before finishing that fourth stitch. crochet in the next three stitches and get ready to crochet into the unworked stitches in that second arm. Before working into that first stitch on the arm, insert your hook into the next stitch on the body, yarn over and pull through the stitch. 
then insert your hook into the first unworked stitch on the arm, yarn over, and pull through that stitch. Finish this single crochet by yarning over and pulling through all the loops on your hook. Make three more single crochets through the unworked stitches in the arm. Now insert your hook into the previously worked stitch, yarn over, and pull through that stitch. Then insert your hook into the next available stitch on the body, yarn over, and pull through that stitch. End the single crochet by yarning over and pulling through all the loops on your hook. Finish this round by putting a single crochet in the last four stitches. Round 25 has a repeat of a single crochet in the next three stitches and then a decrease. You will complete this sequence three times and then switch over to the patch color yarn before finishing that last decrease. Using the patch color yarn, single crochet in the next three stitches and then decrease. You'll switch back over to the main body color yarn before finishing that decrease. Continue the repeat sequence until you reach the end of this round. When you're done, you should have 24 stitches. You can add some more stuffing at this point. We only have one more round to crochet. Okay, single crochet in the next 10 stitches and switch over to the patch color yarn before finishing that 10th stitch. Using the patch color yarn, single crochet in the next five stitches. to switch back over to the main body color yarn before ending that fifth stitch. Then end the round with a single crochet in the remaining stitches using that body colored yarn. After finishing this round, leave a tail before cutting each yarn. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Before you fashion off, make a slip stitch in the next stitch on the body. Then you can add some more stuffing. I hope finishing the body for your puppy dog motivates you to keep going and complete this project. I mean, there really isn't much left to do. In the next tutorial, we'll be sewing the body onto the head and you won't want to miss my tips for avoiding that wobble head. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and come back for the next video. Thanks for watching.